What's up, YouTube? It's the Tadball Guy and Rio back with another episode of Mosh Kicks and Comics. As promised, we have the limited edition LTD Slayer guitar. Back in 2006, they released a uh, Rain and Blood themed guitar. 2007, they released this, the South of Heaven guitar. And in 2008, they released their Seasons in the Abyss guitar. I was hoping for the 2009 version of Divine Intervention, but they stopped before they did that. I believe there was only about 850 made of each guitar. I bought this guitar about six or seven years ago, and I got it for $500. Now, if you try to find one of these things, if you can even find it, they're well into the thousands. I was just taking a look, and the serial number is SLR1-2007. So if this is the first one off the line, from 2007, I'm a lucky man. Let's see if the camera will get a close up of that. I don't know what, maybe I'll zoom in later. So as a huge Slayer fan, I can't help but just play those evil sounding Slayer riffs. So what you hear today aren't Slayer riffs, but they sound awfully close. Well, at least I think so. So before we jump in, I gotta do the YouTube thing and tell you I'm on the path to 50,000 subscribers. And you might be looking at my YouTube subscriber count and you're like, buddy, you got a long way to go. Well, you're exactly right. So I need your help getting there. And just think, if you get in now, you could say, dude, I was subscribed to you before you even had 100 subscribers. That'd be awesome. Anyway, here we go with this Slayer inspired song for this Slayer guitar. I wrote the drum part on Easy Drummer 3. Here we go. So before we drop some low end into the mix, I gotta say, I've absolutely been loving this bass. I only have one real major problem with it. The jazz pickup is incredibly noisy. Let's see if we can pick some of this up when I turn it up, so. Ready? Listen, now I hit it. Hear that? Yeah, not a fan. If I turn down my jazz pickup, it's better. Well, at least the gate catches it. If I turn it off completely, there's an airplane in the background. Thanks. So much better. Really noisy jazz pickup. Besides from that, the tone of this, like, I play it all the time. I love it. All right, let's drop some low end of the mix. Here we go.
So the bass is laid down and I even have the guitar on the left side laid down. What you're gonna see me record now is the guitar on the right side and maybe add some evil, some extra evil harmonies, Slayer style. Jeff Hanneman was a true, uh, a true guitar god. I loved his writing style. Kerry King is awesome, of course, but Jeff Hanneman was my favorite. Rest in peace, Jeff. Rest in peace. telling you this guitar makes you play some of the nastiest evil riffs you could think of it's like the ghost of Jeff Hanneman is living in this guitar
So just a couple of last minute final thoughts on this guitar. Uh, also, I didn't mention earlier, it has EMG pickups. Uh, this guitar is so much fun to play. It's a collectible, but I play it anyway. Uh, if you could find one, I recommend it, but I don't think you're gonna be able to find one. They are incredibly rare. So happy hunting to all you guitar collectors out there. Anyway, on the next episode, I'm going to be seeing if the infamous Solar Chug pedal works well on a bass. How's that sound? Anyway, I'm the Tatted Ball Guy, and I'll see you next time on Mosh Kicks and Comics. Peace.